Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com. Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can take picture from camera in your Android application and I will also show you how you can request runtime camera permission in your Android app. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, uh, you need to create a new Android project and when the project is created, uh, simply go to manifest and first of all, we will add the camera permission here. So simply type use permission and type camera and add this permission okay uh, okay so after this we need to uh, create a provider here this is something like the content provider and this provider will be unique for our application so to uh, type uh, to add the provider here simply type the provider and by the help of this provider we will uh, we will create a directory for our images uh, which which we are taking from camera and we can access or uh, load that images in our android application so in the authorities uh, i will just uh, copy uh, paste this uh, package name and you can add this package name or something unique for your application so i will uh, just simply add this and i will uh, add the provider here so provider provider or i will just simply uh, call it file provider okay make sure uh, this authority is unique for your application okay so uh, that's why i am using this uh, package name or application id okay and in the name section uh, simply type android x code dot content dot file provider okay so this is by default uh, uh, provided by android and i will uh, set this exported to false because uh, i don't want to any other app or other any other application use it so i will just simply add it uh, set it to false and below here for grant uri permissions set it to true okay and simply close this and inside this uh, we will add the metadata metadata and uh, we will name it uh, android name so simply type android dot support okay that support dot file underscore provider provider paths okay and in the resource we will just simply type uh, xml slash file parts and uh, we will close this and as you can see here we we got an error so it means that we don't have this directory xml and we don't have this file so simply click on it and create xml resource for file xml path okay and here uh, i will name it uh, parts sorry not name it the root element will be parts okay so click on ok and inside this inside this we will add the file parts okay so simply type file parts and the name will be i will name it camera underscore camera underscore photos and the path will be uh, this root directory so simply type dot here and it will get the root directory so uh, this uh, file provider uh, step is completed now what we will do uh, if i uh, open this xml file so as you can see here i have an image view and a button when the user click on this button first we will check for the camera permission and then we will open the camera and we will use the activity result launcher for this okay but first of all i need to create a file here uh, which will uh, return the uri for our image so simply type private void and i will name it create uri or uri and uh, this will be this will be uh, returning uri so it, it won't be the void type okay so here simply type file okay and i will name it image file because we are accessing images and new file and inside this we will pass the get application content so get application contacts not uh, content sorry and simply type the git file dir okay and here we will pass the name uh, camera underscore photo dot jpg so we will get the uh, our photo as jpg you can edit png here uh, 
won't be a problem okay so below here we will return so simply return file provider dot get dot get uri for file and hit enter simply type get application contacts okay and uh, here we will uh, pass our authority so what we will do i will go to the manifest and i will just simply copy it from here because we need okay this one this is the authority so i will just simply copy it from here and i will paste it here and add comma and pass the image file here so image file so this file this file will return the URI for our image so now what we will do uh, let me add the binding here so I am using the view binding activity main binding I will name it main binding and I will also use the activity result launcher so activity result launcher and it will be the type of URI and I will name it tag uh, picture launcher okay and uh, I need a URI so I will name it image URI okay and uh, let me initialize the binding here so main binding is equal to activity binding dot inflate get layout inflator and I will just simply remove this and if you don't know about the view binding so you can ask me in the comments so I will uh, create a separate video for this so I will just simply type main binding dot get food so it will get our uh, XML file okay so now what we will do first of all we need to uh, assign the URI to this image URI so uh, simply create URI here so after this uh, we will we will uh, create a button listener for our beauty and tag picture so set click listener view and inside this we will launch our uh, our uh, this launcher result for result but first of all uh, we will create a method for this to launch private void and uh, what we will do we will just simply name it register uh, picture launcher okay you can name it anything you want and uh, inside this uh, what we will do I will uh, call the tag picture launcher and it will be equal to register activity uh, a, a register for activity results so this is the replacement of uh, start activity for result uh, as we all know that start activity for result is deprecated now we can use this activity result launcher instead of start activity result okay so inside this i will uh, pass the first one activity result contracts dot take picture okay and the second one will be new activity this will be the callback and as you can see here it is uh, returning a boolean value so the boolean value means that if it is true then we can get a picture so i will uh, add a check here if result so if result mean that if it is true then we can uh, get our uh, uri or image so main binding dot iv user and the iv user is the image i uh, i have added in the xml file so i will just simply uh, create i will pass null here because uh, if uh, i add uh, one image uh, from gallery here and if i want to change the image so when the user click on this button so it will uh, set it to null then we can replace the image okay and below here i will set the uri iv user and our set image uri so i will set the image uri here okay and i will add a cache block here exception i will name it exception okay and exception dot get skip trace okay get stack trace sorry not skip trace okay so first of all uh, I will just simply register this uh, launcher here and now what we will do we will uh, create the we will check for the camera permission so first of all let me create a method here public void check camera permission and open camera okay if the permission granted win uh, then we will open the camera so what we will do i will do simply uh, type if activity 
activity activity compact okay and let me zoom it in let me close this activity compare dot check self permission so i will just simply type main activity dot this and below here i will type manifest dot permission dot simply type camera so it will check for the camera permission so if it is not equal to package package manager dot permission granted so if it not if it, if it is not equal to permission granted if it means that the, if the camera permission is not granted so we will request a runtime permission for the camera okay and uh, now what we will do uh, we will type the activity compared dot request permissions okay request permissions and here we will pass the activity name so main activity dot this and simply add a comma here and new string okay new string array and inside this array we will add the manifest manifest dot okay manifest dot permission dot camera okay and here we need to pass uh, a code so let me create a final variable here private static final integer and i will name it uh, camera permission code and it will be equal to one okay so you can uh, add any value here you want so i will just simply pass it here so camera permission code okay so if this is the case if the permission is not granted then we will request the permission and if the permission is granted so what we will do we will uh, use the launcher and we will launch and what we will do we will pass the image uri here so image uri okay so it will launch our activity uh, activity result okay and below here we will override a method on permission on request permission result okay and below here what we will do we will check for the code if the request code is equal to camera permission code and inside this if we will check if the permission is granted okay so we will check if grant result grant results dot length greater than zero and grant results zero is equal to package package manager dot permission granted so it means that if the permission is granted then we will we will launch our uh, launcher here so take picture launcher dot launch and pass the image uri here okay and in the else block we will show a toast if the user deny the permission so the toast will be something like uh, toast create a toast and this and uh, we will type camera permission denied okay please hello permission take picture okay so that's it and what we will do on the button click we will uh, check this check camera permission and it will check the camera permission and if the permission is granted then it will uh, take the picture for camera now i will run this application okay guys so as you can see here our application is running and now if i click on this tag picture so as you can see here our app is asking for camera permission allow camera permission to take pictures and uh, record video okay so you can uh, if i don't allow this so it will show a toast camera permission denied please allow permission to take pictures so i will just simply click on this again and you can uh, you can assign or you can get uh, give a permission while using this app or only this time so i will just simply uh, select the first one while using the app so it will open the camera and as you can see here this is our camera and if i uh, click picture 
Now if I click on this tick, okay, so as you can see here, our picture is in our image view. Now uh, let me show you, I uh, set the image uh, URI to null for this feature. If I again click on this tag picture and uh, as you can see this is our camera open and we will replace the image okay if i click on this tick now as you can see here our image is replaced okay and if you not set it to null so it won't uh, replace your image in the image view okay so if i uh, close this application okay so we uh, granted the permission so now if i close this application and i open it again so the name of this application is camera permission so now uh, i will show you if uh, if you click on take picture so it will check the permission is already granted and it will open the camera okay as you can see this is our camera and if i take the picture again okay and i will click on this take okay that's fine and that is working so that's how you can uh, request a runtime camera permission from user and that's how you can take picture for, from your camera in your android application so if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel 